This is Virgil's Aeneid, Book 1, lines 92 to 101, and this passage is basically describing Aeneas' reaction to the horrible situation he's in and how he'd prefer to die than face what he's being forced to endure. So the passage starts off with, At once the limbs of Aeneas, so membra Aeneae, were relaxed with cold. He groaned, and having stretched, both palms or both hands to the stars, he reported such things, and this is the Talia, with implied his voice. So, reported such things with his voice. And then the quote, Anise's quote begins with, three times and four times blessed. And then there's an implied R. So, blessed are who or whoever before the faces of your fathers it befell to encounter and then death is implied, so it befell to encounter death beneath the high walls of Troy. So the first thing is that this quiz is better translated as quibus to go with this plural beati, and it takes the dative because of the verb contigit. And then this part about before the faces of your fathers, it has some cultural context. So where the kinsmen and friends might witness their glorious deeds and death and would bury their bodies, thus giving rest to their souls, because the souls of the unburied must wander restlessly after death. So basically, their bodies would go unburied in this situation, and they would, according to their beliefs, wander restlessly, so it would be better to die before the faces of their fathers and be given proper burial. And he continues to say, O Diomedes, bravest of the race of the Donians or the Greeks. And then... Um, Diomedes was someone that Aeneas fought against in single combat in Troy, and he would have killed Aeneas, but Venus uh, spirited him away, so he couldn't be defeated by him. And it continues on to say, Why could I not have been able to fall in death? And then the in death part is included in this verb, so to fall in death on the Trojan plains, and to pour out this spirit by your right hand. And then this part is all describing the um, the Trojan plains mentioned right here. So where savage Hector lay by the weapons by the weapon of Achilles, where huge Sarpedon, and then the implied lay continues here. So where the huge Sarpedon lay, where the Samoas River rolled, and that's going down here to the bottom, so where the Samoas or Samoas River rolled, so many shields and helmets and brave bodies of heroes or of men having been snatched up under its waves. And so this Wiram is also uh, the same as Wirorum, and it's supposed to be going with all the objects listed here. So that's that's the shields, the helmets, and the brave bodies are all of these heroes or men. And then the final note is just about um, these three ubis that are kind of make a list. Um, and this is an anaphora that just basically highlights uh, his description of the location.